uh, be able to get around it? Getting around is going to be a big question mark for some in the Queen City as the president comes to town. Good evening. The Secret Service lives up to its name, not telling us which roads will be closed for the president's motorcade for security reasons. That is going to mean some surprises for some morning commutes. The president's first visit to the tri-state since the Democratic National Convention will have him appearing in popular Eden Park. Nine News reporter Amy Wattis is live from Eden Park with what folks in the area are saying about this. Amy? Julian, just under 12 hours, President Obama is expected to arrive in Cincinnati. He's expected to arrive in the Queen City around 1130. Now, if you take a look up here at Eden Park, it's pretty quiet up here right now. Nobody's around, but it's going to be a much more hectic scene here tomorrow as several roads are expected to be closed off. Again, we don't know which ones, but you'll probably come across these road closure signs if you decide to head up into this area tomorrow. So it's going to create a traffic nightmare nightmare for many local commuters. <laughs> the wood was being sawed and the stage was being set up as preps are underway for President Obama's visit to the Queen City. But one thing that's a concern for nearby Mount Adams resident Chris Held, traffic. I do think I will have to get up a little bit earlier. Uh, how much? I, I, I don't know. Yet. I caught up with Chris and his friends this afternoon. He and Aaron Althoff live on Paradrome Street in Mount Adams, only a few streets away from Season Good Pavilion in Eden Park, where President Obama will be speaking. My bigger concern was that there's a lot of parking signs saying you need to be out by 6 a.m., which I'm usually not up at 6 a.m. Althoff has to be in Mason for work by 8, so she's trying to strategize the best route. I guess I'll have to park maybe down the hill more closer to the city, get out of Mount Adams, or maybe I'll just have a very early morning at work. <laughs> I think any time that you can see a, a president live is, a, is an American citizen is a true honor, and it's a right that we have, and I'm very proud to exercise that right. Jim McCarty will be attending Obama's event tomorrow. Also a Mount Adams resident, he's not too worried about the busy streets. Most of the residents up here are used to hiccups because of uh, it's just a tight little village and parking is always a problem. You'll probably park off the hill and look for some shuttle service or something that's coming up the hill. While it could be a traffic nightmare, Chris Held says it's worth the headache. It's not every day that the president comes to uh, speak, you know, what, three blocks down from you, so... And while I haven't gotten any word of any official road closures as of tonight, the Hamilton County Democratic Party suggests attendees of this event park along the, the riverfront at Lost D and F on Maring Way. Now, starting at 8 in the morning, that sh shuttle buses are going to take you up to Mount Adams to, to watch uh, President Obama speak. Now, the only entrance to Eden Park that's going to be open is at Ida Street next to the Playhouse. So, uh, gates open at 10, but it is highly suggested that you get here as early as you can. Amy Wattis, 9 News, live from Eden Park. I would think so. Thank you, Amy, for that report. Mitt Romney is starting.